Evolution is a religion, not science. First we need to define a couple of words. What is a religion? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines religion as a cause, principle, or system of beliefs held to with ardor and faith. They define faith as a firm belief in something for which there is no proof. What is science? Science is a systematic knowledge of the physical or material world gained through observation and experimentation. Note the words observation and experimentation. Evolution does not fit into the category of science as there has been no observation or experimentation of evolution taking place. However, evolution does fit nicely into the definition of a religion. Evolution is a system of beliefs for which there is no proof. What is evolution? If someone asks you if you believe in evolution, ask them what they mean. There are six meanings to the word. Which one are they talking about? Are they talking about cosmic evolution, which is the origin of time, space, and matter with the Big Bang? Nothing exploded and created everything. That's not science. How about chemical evolution? According to the Big Bang Theory, the Big Bang produced hydrogen and helium. So how do we get all these other elements? You expect me to believe that uranium evolved from hydrogen? The evolutionists will say yes because of fusion in stars. But you cannot fuse past iron. Also, you now have a chicken and an egg problem because you would have to have the stars to make the elements and the elements to make the stars. Which one came first? This brings up, of course, stellar and planetary evolution. How did the stars form? Did you know that no one has ever seen a star form? Scientists don't even have a clue how a star could form. Sometimes they see a spot in the sky getting brighter and say they saw a star form. In all actuality, what they are seeing is where a dust cloud has moved from in front of a star. The star was there the whole time. Now we do see stars blow up, creating a nova or a supernova. We see this happen, but we never see one form. And yet, it has been estimated that there are enough stars out there that every single person on Earth could personally own 11 trillion stars to themselves. These are only the stars that we know about. There could be many more. Next is organic evolution. Life has to get started from non-life. No one has a clue how this could happen. They've tried in the past to create life in the laboratory. They failed. Even if they did create life in the laboratory, it would only have proved that it takes intelligence to create life. This will not prove evolution. Next is macroevolution. This is where an animal changes from one kind into another. Did you know that nobody has ever seen a dog produce a non-dog? Never. You may get a big dog or a little dog, but you are going to get a dog every time. It could be that the dog, the wolf, and the coyote had a common ancestor. They probably did. But you ought to be able to look at them and tell that they are the same kind of animal. The Bible is very clear about this and says that the animals will bring forth after their kind. Now Charles Darwin wrote a book called The Origin of Species. A dog and a wolf are the same kind of animal, but they are different species. He fooled everyone by changing the word from kind to species. Lastly, there's what is called microevolution. This one actually happens. This is variation within the kinds. Animals can produce a whole variety of offspring. Long-haired, short-haired, long-legged, short-legged. This happens. However, the first five meanings of the word evolution are not science at all. These are religious views. We have never observed any of them. So if you want to win the debate on evolution, simply define what you are talking about.
you will find that all they ever give are examples of number six which there is no argument about it it happens but then they imply that this is somehow magically evidence for the other five and it is not the news media tries to make it look like it is science first religion no it is not these are two religions both creation and evolution are religious you have to believe in one or the other anyone who is teaching this evolution theory to children as a fact had better read what Jesus said about this Jesus said but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck than that he were drowned in the depth of the sea evolution is not a fact and calls for faith in many things that have never been observed such as life coming from non-life matter creating itself and animals producing different kinds of animals none of these things have ever been observed therefore evolution is a religion not science.